adding some tomato cuttings here. This um, is just a drum with some water and it's got some fish in there to keep the um, mosquitoes out. And so I've just got these guys that are in a, um, in a net pot, just sitting in that bucket. And the water's just flowing continually through there and we're turning into the, um, the little drum fish. So it filters it and um, I can use this to propagate some cuttings. And now these tomatoes have got roots on them and they're ready to be planted. In this Dutch bucket system. beans went in last week. Uh, I haven't had any luck growing dwarf beans in hydroponics but I thought I'd try them in this flood drone bed and um, I don't think they, I've previously tried them in pipe system but I don't think they like having their roots wet all the time so I thought I'd try them in this flood and drain and they're doing pretty good. The dog jumped up on this bed twice this week and dug a little nest for himself and um, so I've had to straighten them out and put this cover on so that they, um, so the plants get a chance. But I'm seeing a lot of new growth here and they look good. So we'll see, uh, see how they go. Over here, the seedlings that I planted in the pipe system last week, they're all doing pretty good. I put some snow peas in the last eight spots there and I put this um, mesh up them to climb on. I might extend it a lot further up here. So the um, rain grass went that way. Now this is um, coriander. Some people hate coriander. I don't know why I love it in Asia cookie. Um, this is how I grow it. It's an autumn cool season crop. These have been in a week. Looking pretty good. This is sweet basil. Been in a week. Which is good. Even uh, these guys went in last Sunday. Fine. Lettuces. They went in on Saturday. They're fine. Over here, we picked a bunch of rock melons. Still got some more to go. Cantaloupes, you call them in America. 
Um, now I've noticed there's a pest in here, white fly. You can see it. See those little clouds of little tiny white flies? So I sprayed them once with neem oil and um, that knocked their population down. And I'll, I'll do it again in a couple of days. And not too bad, but uh, yeah. And since spraying these uh, tomato plants with um, wettable sulfur, um, they had uh, russet mites and um, Erica Roberts from um, Hydroponic Express said, yeah, no, russet mites. So I, I've never seen them before. I never was unaware. And so treated them and the plants are looking much better. Thanks, Erica. So this, this um, butternut pumpkin vine is uh, just about finished. You can see the powdery mildew, which was on there. I just kind of suppressed it with um, Magazine Plus, but it's still there. But I've just got two, two more pumpkins. Probably gonna rip this out this week. Uh, these are in two, two of these buckets. So then I'll replant them with something else. I've got some um, peas over there. Uh, snap peas and sweet peas. I'll probably put them in these last two rows because I need a home for them. And uh, I don't think they're gonna fit over here. Here's a couple of rock number I picked the other day. Uh, 2.587 kilos or something like that. I'll work out how many pounds that is. And this one, quite a bigger 2.708.